and welcome back to part two of our character building workshop. During part one, we watched clips from three Manhattan Theatre Club archive shows, Jitney, The Cake, and St. Joan. We then filled out character profiles based on your interpretation of these characters. Today, we are going to begin building characters of our own. So, what I'd like you to do is pull out that same character profile sheet that we answered the questions for before. But this time, instead of basing your answers on somebody else's work, you're going to dig into your imagination and come up with it all on your own. Here's a hint. Oftentimes, playwrights dig into what they know best. So their characters are from their personal lives. Maybe um, character A really closely resembles your Aunt Rosa. Maybe name her something different. Um, dig into your imagination, dig into your lives, and fill out these character profiles. Hi. So, at this point we've finished our character profiles and we've come up with some pretty fascinating characters. Though, don't be surprised if these brand new characters are actually kind of similar to somebody that you know pretty well. <laughs> it happens all the time. Life is inspiration for artists. So, now that we have that work done, let's get these characters speaking. We are going to write monologues of our own. Before we do, let's take a moment and think back to the three monologues that we watched from the archives. In the Della monologue, we saw the beginning of the play, The Cake. She was speaking to the audience. She was reflecting on a theme, baking. It's something that we'll hear about a lot in The Cake. In the Joan monologue, she's speaking to a room full of people. She is passion. She is urgently begging for something that is so important to her. The entire weight of the nation is on her shoulders. What she's speaking about needs immediate attention. In the fielding monologue in Jitney, this is someone who's reminiscing, who's retelling a story, who's thinking back to a happy day, to a person that they once loved, and telling that story quite nicely. So those are three different versions of what a monologue could look like. There are many, many more, and I challenge you to think outside of whatever the box is. When we write a monologue, I'd like you to have the answers to three questions answered for yourself. The first is, who is your character speaking to? And what is their relationship with that person? Are they speaking to a friend, a family member, somebody that they haven't spoken to a while? The audience. Do they like the audience? Are they excited about the audience? Or are they a little nervous to be speaking to a room full of so many people? The second question I'd like you to have answered for yourself is, where does this take place? What is the setting? Where is your character speaking? Is this person comfortable where they are, uncomfortable where they are? Is this a familiar place or an unfamiliar place? And finally, why is your character speaking in the first place? Normally, someone doesn't speak on and on and on without a real need. So, best of luck. I am so excited to see what you all come up with. And if you need any help or ideas, we have some monologue prompts written in some of the documents below. So good luck and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Hey, I have one more exercise for you. It's called Hot Seat. This is a great opportunity for you to get your character even richer, to really understand them in a super three-dimensional and fun way. It works great in a group, in a classroom, but hey, if you're at home, again, don't worry about it. Call a friend, tell them what you're doing, and ask them to participate. It's actually really fun. What you'll start out by doing is stepping into the shoes of your character that you're building. So. If you're an actor, this is a great exercise for you. If you're a director, this is a great exercise to do with your, um, your cast. If you're a playwright, just bite the bullet, become an actor for a couple moments. It'll be worth it in the end, I promise. So once you're in that character's set of shoes, I want you to talk to your audience without stopping for about, I don't know, two to five minutes, whatever feels right. And you're going to tell your audience as much as you feel necessary about your character. And you may be making stuff up as you go. That's totally fine. Some of the stuff you may know because you fill it out in your character profile, but others you surprise yourself as they come out of your mouth. Then when you're done talking, you turn the mic around and let the people that are with you interview you 
Encourage them to ask you really tough and uncomfortable questions. Even questions that you can't come up with an answer to are gonna help you understand your character. There are sometimes, uh, some things that people ask me and I'm totally stumped. And that's almost more revealing uh, about me than if I had an answer. You know, um, what's a good example of a really hard question for me? Um, why why didn't you go to California when you wanted to? I don't know, but it does get me thinking about California. I'll tell you that. Uh, enjoy the hot seat. Hopefully it's really useful for you. And I've had so much fun doing this character workshop and I hope you did as well. Please stay engaged as much as possible and look forward to uh, engaging in some of the other workshops that we have here.